Prince Andrew has been spotted boarding a plane in Aberdeen as he appears to be cutting short his Balmoral holiday just a day after his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson headed home as well. The Duke of York was due to spend a whole week at Balmoral after being invited for a holiday by the Queen. The 59-year-old was pictured getting out of a black Range Rover before boarding the private jet this afternoon. Sarah, the Duchess of York also left after Prince Philip arrived a week early, as he can't stand being under the same roof as her, according to a royal expert. Prince Andrew's early departure from Scotland comes just a couple of days after the Queen invited her son to ride in her car as they went to church in Balmoral on Sunday. This meaningful gesture followed the death of his financier friend Jeffrey Epstein, and has been described by royal commentators as a sign of unity. Mr. Epstein was found lifeless in his cell on Saturday while he was awaiting trial accused of sex trafficking. Prince Andrew was one of many names dragged into the scandal surrounding Mr. Epstein after the release of 2000 court papers. Buckingham Palace issued a statement on behalf of Prince Andrew strongly denying any wrongdoing. The palace said, any suggestion of impropriety with underage minors is categorically untrue. Meanwhile, Sarah, affectionately known as Fergie by British royal fans, is believed to have returned to England after leaving Balmoral Castle on Monday. The reason behind her departure is said to have been the arrival of Prince Philip to Scotland. The pair have had a tense relationship since Sarah's divorce from Prince Andrew in 1996 and the infamous toe-sucking scandal which came before it. She was expected to spend this week with Prince Andrew and their daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie at the Queen's summer residence. But an insider told The Sun, in previous years the Duchess has left the day before the Queen's husband arrives. This year he arrived yesterday, several days earlier than expected, which is rather strange, so the Duchess left. However, the Queen and Prince Philip are far from being alone at the majestic castle following these departures. Earlier, a photographer spotted Sophie, Countess of Wessex, and her son James Viscount Severn fly fishing on the River Dee, which runs through the Aberdeenshire. And the Queen, whose love for horses and horse riding is well known, was spotted riding a black horse nearby. The royal family is very fond of Balmoral, with the Queen and Prince Philip spending their summer holidays every year there. When their four children were young, the monarch and the Duke of Edinburgh used to take Prince Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward to Balmoral for several weeks. Now, the royal couple often hosts several royals, with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry believed to be heading up north very soon. The castle, which is worth approximately £155 million pounds according to Business Insider, counts dozens of bedrooms and is surrounded by 52,000 acres of land. Owned by the royal family since 1852, Balmoral Castle is believed to be the place where the Queen truly relaxes and enjoys a break. Royal expert Juliet Ryden told Nine News, This is where she loves to be, this is holiday time for the Queen. She always said this is where she feels most herself and feels most free. When they are out having their barbecues, which they love to do out in the grounds of Balmoral, it's a massive estate, the most beautiful grounds, where they literally set up a barbecue. And afterward the queen does the washing up.